There are 4.8 million unfilled cyber security roles as of August 2025. At the same time, you can see firing being done in almost every big company. Amazon laid off 30,000 people. KPMG is laying off people. Everywhere there are layoffs. But in cyber security, there are not so many layoffs. Why? Because there is a boom in this industry, and there are not enough people who know the skill of cyber security who can take up these roles. So in this video, we're going to talk about cyber security. Why you should do cyber security. How you can do. Cyber security. What are the roles that you should be aiming for? Everything about cyber security in this video. First reason: In 2024, the market was somewhere around 9.8 to 10.4 billion dollars of cyber security. By 2030, it is expected to be somewhere around 20. That is twice the market size, 20 billion dollars. That means analysts are expecting a compounded annual growth rate of 12 to 16 percent in cybersecurity. That's why there are so many job roles that are coming out of this industry. Second, current global workforce that no cybersecurity, 5.5 million, and it is expected that 10 million would be required within next five years. Third, if you plan to immigrate to any country, every country comes out with their shortage lists. Australia cybersecurity always in that list. Ireland they have a skill assessment list. Always cybersecurity is included in that. Any country and every country that wants immigrants, they want skilled immigrants. And when they say they want skilled immigrants, they want usually that talent that is not available all across the world. And as a result, if you study something like cybersecurity, it opens up so many doors for you. Even Germany, where everyone says, I have made hundreds of videos about Germany. and always i say that you need to know german if you want to get a job in germany but for a field like cyber security you go to with english any country and every country would want you if you have a skill which other people in the economy don't have but again if you're doing cyber security to a basic level there are a lot of people who can do that but a good cyber security analyst it's so hard to find right now just go on the internet and see how hard it is to find a cyber security analyst a good one average cyber security analysts there are a lot even they are enjoying good salaries but if you become very good proficient at it the scope is huge now if you want to get started with cyber security for free try hack me it is honestly one of the best places to start it's completely hands on and browser based no setup no complicated installs and you open it and start learning by doing on this you're not just sitting through boring slides or just reading theory you're actually hacking real machines investigating real world scenarios and defending systems the same way ethical hackers do in the industry what makes it even better is that everything's laid out in a guided learning path so if you're a beginner you can start with something that's exactly for beginners and then you can move your way towards specialized tracks like security analyst level 1 or penetration tester level 1 it's structured clear and super rewarding because you can see your progress and not only that you'll earn badges climb leaderboards and stay motivated through the gamified learning experience and you're not alone over 6 million learners worldwide are learning alongside with you and if you ever get stuck try hack me even has echo their ai tutor to guide you step by step and once you have built your skills the career hub and the certifications help you prepare for real cyber security roles the kind of jobs that can lead you to six figure salaries the best part many rooms are completely free you can start right now learn by doing and when you're ready to unlock everything you can use my promo code murad25 for 25% off on their annual subscription so if you want to get started with cyber security check the description and get started with try hack me for free second let's talk about which country should you move to if you plan to go towards cyber security first even after tariffs h1b visa whole everything it still is us because even after that an average salary of a cyber security analyst right after graduation is 66 lakh to 1.08 crores what's crazy here is if you study cyber security from uc berkeley right out of college your salary would be somewhere around 1.78 crore at rank 2 actually uk now why am i recommending you uk use because these are the biggest economies even though the job market in these countries are not that great but for cyber security where there is a lack of supply lack of talent these countries become really good because the salaries there are really good and in uk you would be making some around 40000 pounds to 60000 pounds right out of college that is somewhere around 45 lakh rupees to 68 lakh rupees is what you'd be making right out of college third if you're scared of going to us 
try Canada because immigration would be much easier and job salaries would still be really good. 40 to 60 lakh rupees right out of college is what you should be expecting after doing a degree in cybersecurity. Fourth, Germany because it is one of the biggest economies of Europe and at the same time right after graduation you would be earning somewhere around 40,000 to 50, 60,000 euros which is somewhere around 40 lakh to 60 lakh rupees in the biggest economy of Europe. Now let's suppose you've decided that you want to enter into the field of cybersecurity. Let's actually talk about what are the roles that you will be doing. Like what would you exactly be doing? What's your work as a cybersecurity analyst? First, you could be a network security specialist. Now, network security specialist basically protects from cyber attacks. You can be hired by any and every organization and basically your role is to protect their website, protect their data. That is all you're doing. Second, you could be a cloud security engineer. Usually, you're protecting the data that is on cloud in the now, this is not being hired by every company, but companies that specialize in cloud network, those companies hire you in this case, where you're protecting all the data that is on the cloud. There can be cyber attackers who can be attacking this and you have to protect it from them. Third, penetration tester or ethical hacker. Usually what you do is you try to hack into systems legally. You try to find loopholes in the system. If you, let's suppose, hack into Facebook and you find any bug in that, then you have something called bug bounty and you get money for that. Even if you're not an employee of this company, you can be hired by some company to do this or you could do it as a freelancer as well. And if you end up finding bugs in any website, you get paid by the company if you end up reporting that this is the bug that I found in this. That's called bug bounty. I can make an entire video on this provided this video gets enough likes. Fourth, you have cybersecurity architect. Now you develop the architecture of cybersecurity, like how the system is going to look like, how it is be, how it will be protected. That is what you develop. And here is where there is extreme money because if you're architect, if you're designing this entire system, that is where entire money is. It usually requires a lot of years of experience, but $150,000 salary ideally is expected in this. Fifth, you could become a digital forensic expert. So what you could be doing is investigating cyber crimes. You see your uncle lose money in a cyber attack or lose money because of a scammer. Now you could be investigating all of those. There are people who do that you could be that person. You could also become a threat intelligence analyst. You could analyze cyber attacks, you could predict them, and you could try to make a framework to protect from those future attacks. Now, ideally what we're doing in cybersecurity is trying to protect ourselves from people who are trying to hack our system, and all the roles would be aligned towards that. The more we move forward, the more we will see mischief being created on the internet, more problems that companies will be starting to face in this field, and the more would be the demand of people who can protect us from that. I personally think cybersecurity has a very good future. If you want me to make more videos about cybersecurity, there is an entire podcast that I can record with someone who got a job abroad directly from India who did study cybersecurity. If you want me to make that podcast, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, if this is a topic that did not get, let's say, 1000 likes, maybe let's not even make another video about cybersecurity. Also, if you're considering any other field, check out business analytics. And that video is it. And tell me about this plant. I just got this. What do you think? Should we keep this or should we let it go? If you can let me know in the comment section, that will be really helpful. I like it. Too big. Just too big.